Hey guys, right now I am in the Philippines and I want to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Keeps. Two out of three men will experience hair loss by the time they are 35. I've dealt with my fair share of it and I've got to say, it's not great. So I decided to take control of my hair journey with Keeps. Keeps is an online subscription service that provides quality expert care and affordable doctor recommended treatments to combat hair loss symptoms and improve hair growth. These clinically proven, personalized treatments are half the cost of the products you'll find at a regular pharmacy. And best of all, they're delivered right to your door. Keeps network of experts are devoted to providing 24 seven support and a full year of unlimited doctor messaging. I've been personally trying Keeps and I cannot wait to see how this turns out. Most customers notice results in as little as six months. So what are you waiting for? Join me on the journey to keep our hair. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off your first order, go to keeps.com slash BEFRS or click the link in the description. That is K-E-E-P-S dot com slash BEFRS. Now, on to the show. In this video, you'll witness what makes noodles in Central Vietnam different from anywhere else in the country. Jellyfish. It is not a common ingredient in noodles across Vietnam. And even the world. This is not blood from any animal. This blood is coagulated blood. Oh, really? Yes. I did not expect that. This is the city of Hue. It used to be Vietnam's capital for over 150 years. I say it's still the capital of banging central Vietnamese street food. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Today, we're doing it all. From creative noodle making, using tools you could find at Home Depot. She's literally carving it off of a PVC pipe. All the way to impossibly small seafood. This is literally thousands and thousands of clams all right here. That delivers a big bite. Mm. The noodly fun starts here. At our first location, a noodle made with the skill of a ninja hey. and the tools of a plumber. That is not a PVC pipe that they use for plumbing, is it? I think that's what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, can we begin? Now then, we have traveled from the north to the central region of Vietnam where there is a completely different noodle scene. You can see right here, the way she's making these noodles is stunning. Miss Huang and her family have been chopping these noodles into existence for the last 10 years. Oh my god, she's making eye contact with us while she's doing it. Through trial and error, they discovered a PVC pipe could work as a rolling pin and a cutting board at the same time. How long did it take you to get good at this? Why is she talking about her dry clean right now? What did I say to her? <laughs> bancan noodles start with a mix of rice flour, tapioca flour, and hot water. At a lot of bancan places, they'll just order the noodles from somewhere else, boil it, and then send them out. What is the advantage of making her own bancan? Need the batter to make a dough. You cannot guarantee the quality of noodles when you're buying from the outside, but here you can make them clean, fresh, and delicious. Flatten that onto the pipe and chop it into boiling water. Inside the house, she has her own grinder, which she grinds her own rice flour. She adds snake head fish intestines and two fish cheeks. She just told me right now, there's no one in comparison to her in this city. Then a rich fish broth. I actually believe her. I've never seen anybody with the focus, whoa, whoa, skill, whoa, whoa, whoa. and technique that she has. She can do about 20 things at once. She's taking separate orders. Plus, she's talking to us. Finish with chopped and shredded green onions. Right here, bancan. It grips to the spoon wonderfully. It's not super slippery like other bancan I've had. Not at all. Oh. Before we get into the noodles, let's try this broth. Ooh. It's savory and sweet. The kind of sweetness that you can only get from seafood. That's nice. Noodles. Oh my god. We're always eating soft noodles, but this one has a nice bite to the tooth. By cutting it with a knife, you really get something different than a commercial grade noodle. Chewy texture, different than any noodle we've had so far on this journey. They have fish intestine. This bigger black piece right here, we should try next. I love it. I love the mineral taste. I love this little bile essence that it gives you in the mouth. It tastes like it was full of something sticky like a peanut butter. It's delicious. That is basically fish poop. I love poop. Well, they've got some other parts that aren't as full of poop. Can you find that cheek? That's a cheek. Oh, that's definitely a cheek. Let's have at it. The best part of any animal is the part that is used the least. The fish don't smile that much. And so that cheek is gonna be just absolutely tender and succulent. Satisfaction guaranteed. This is an excellent dish. 
most people would associate this next noodle ingredient with danger rather than with food. We're here because you have a very unique ingredient in your noodles, and that is this right here. Can you tell me what I'm looking at? I think so, yeah. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Yes, even though jellyfish is eaten in this part of Vietnam, you won't find it at almost any restaurant except this place. Have you been eating jellyfish from the time you were a kid? Since she was a little one, oh, like really? this. In fact, Miss Lan is the only vendor selling this dish in the entire city. What do you like about jellyfish? One, two, three, move. This dish starts with an assortment of greens and veggies. She dares you to eat it. I don't think she said that. Yep, yeah, Matt. Matt means I dare you. I double dog dare you. I triple dog dare you. Followed by bun, a thin vermicelli rice noodle, one of the most common types of noodles used in Vietnam. Cheers. Cheers. Want to find out about something new? She adds sliced fish cakes, shrimpies, and slices of jellyfish. Super crunchy, watery. It's just a lot of sensation. There's no flavor at all. So why do you like this if it has no flavor? Place on a crushed rice cracker. She has her own secret sauce that's going to transform this into the next big thing. And finish with her ultimate secret sauce. Calvin, right here we have our dish. They call it moon. And then the words that come after that. Yum nook which means it means jellyfish here in the central region. They're calling it jellyfish noodles, but there's so many different ingredients in here. Let's try the shrimp first. Mind you, it does still have the entire shell on there. We grew up eating shrimp with the shells on. We've always known that it brought extra calcium to our bones. And that was super important to you as a five-year-old? Yes. <laughs> All right, let's try it out. Hmm. I can feel it's a little shrimpy whiskers in my mouth. It's crunchy, the shrimp is juicy, it's got a nice savory sauce, but she doesn't put a lot of sauce on there. We should just mix this whole thing up right now. Mm. I've got some of the greens, Vietnamese sausage, and then some of the bun. Mm. Whoa, wow, is indeed. So it has a very fermented quality to it. It's a bit of a light flavor, not super intense, and then some seafood essence. What seafood exactly does it taste of? Is it the crab? Where in the crab? The ankles? No, it has a flavor of crab roe. That sauce really makes it. I like it, huh? I really do. But Sunny, don't forget what we're here for, the jellyfish. The jellyfish has now been caked with that sauce. Once flavorless, now flavorful. Let's try it out. Still crunchy. It's like pig's ear. Has a softness on the outside, but the inside, super crispity, crunchy, and then with a little bit more flavor now. I gotta say, I'm coming around on the texture of this particular jellyfish. Mm. Jellyfish I've had in the past has been almost sandpapery. I like this more than any other jellyfish I've had. No cap. Mm. Is that, people say that? No cap? I shouldn't say that. All right. The city of Hue served as a capital for generations of Vietnamese kings. So many foods here originated in the royal court, including our next bowl. Internationally, the noodle people know most from Vietnam is pho. But I would say the noodle that Vietnamese people love the most is bún bò hue. And it comes from the city of Hue, where we are right now. That's what makes it really special. I've never had bún bò hue here in Hue. This is like losing my virginity. This is a big moment. Bún bò hue, let's break it down. What does the broth consist of? Meet Miss Thuy, the queen of bún bò hue. From the pork trotter to the pork belly, but the main part is the entire leg of the pig. I also get some gelatinous, creamy flavor from it. And then the beef bones come in. So you get a really nice balance between pork and beef. There's pork, there's beef, but there's one other element that's very unique, very special, the blood cake. Congealed blood cake is an ingredient commonly paired with many soups in Vietnam. It's a cheap and easy way to add more vitamins, protein, and a unique texture to your meal. Is this pig blood? This is not just blood from any animal. This is coagulated duck blood. Oh, really? Yes. I did not expect that. Neither did I. Calvin, you know what we have to do now, right? Take it home and sell it on Bitcoin? No, we have to eat pure blood. What they usually do is they add it to the broth, and then they get the flavor in there. But here, this is unseasoned. All right, let's see. Wow. Wow, indeed. I gotta say, without the broth, that is an intense flavor, man. It looks like pudding, feels like jello, but then it's just this minerally flavor. It has a little bit of a leathery texture, so as you bite, it sticks to your teeth as you're chewing through it. There's no other texture like this, ma'am. I can't wait to try this out with the broth and maybe a few other ingredients. Yeah, thank you so much. The bowl starts with their special thicker version of boon. Top that with a huge cut of pork leg, beef tendon, beef flank, and blanched beef then a pork ball, a crab ball, and a few cubes of duck blood cake. A sprinkle of chopped scallions. And finally, she sinks it with her heavenly draw. 
I love that. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. The sweetness, the porkiness, that aromatic flavor purely from the lemon grass. So flavorful. You taste it like from the top of your nose to the bottom of your stomach. That's, That's real good. good. Let's get to some of this meat on top. Everyone gets two balls, unlike the human population. These are two different balls. One is ground pork. Oh my god. That is just pure porky goodness. There's no fillers. I like my balls, I like my women. No filler, no Botox, just full of meat. Okay, I lost the analogy somewhere. The next ball is made out of crab. That's where the golden hue comes from. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Similar types of seasoning, but with some of that beautiful crab flavor. Are you ready for the pig trotter? Mm -hmm. So soft and tender. Delicious pork. I love it. Let's take a look at these noodles. This is the boon. We already had boon, but this looks different to me. This boon is a little thicker cut. What we used to get is vermicelli. That's used for something that's more lighter. You don't find this boon in any other dish. Let's try it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, boy. That is life-changing. It's strong, it withstands this intense broth. It's got plenty of texture, but it's absorbed some broth too, so it's yep. full of flavor. We tried <laughs> blood already, but we had just the straight up version, no broth. So now we've got some broth. Much better. The irony flavors are gone. That mineralness is now sweet. That broth really absorbed well into that blood cake. It transformed it 100%. <laughs> Last thing, this is bun ba. Ba means beef. Juice. I can't. Good call. Mm -hmm. oh. Mumbo secretly the favorite noodles of Vietnamese people. Yeah. I understand why. Soon, we'll be trying the cheapest bowl of seafood noodles you can find in Vietnam. This dish is going to be the cheapest dish we have in this series. But to truly appreciate this dish, you must see the work that goes into sourcing its main ingredient. Kevin, out here, this is Mr. Bai. He has a very interesting job that pertains to our next noodle. Uncle Bai is a seasoned clam hunter. This is one of the most painstaking foods that can be made anywhere because the amount of work that has to go into it is unimaginable. His main prey is the wild basket clam, the protein source for our final bowl of noodles. The food source is so tiny, but somehow everybody in this area is eating it. Every day, he dives down this river, scooping up around 20 pounds of these microscopic mollusks. He's going to pull those up soon, and we're going to see how he processes them for our next dish. With the clams in hand, he must now extract the meat using his outdoor kitchen. Thousands of clams descend into his fiery wok. When it's full, he adds water so the meat can cook. So we have the clams that have been boiled. They're being brought here to the processing area. He takes them portion by portion into the wicker basket, puts it into the water, <laughs> and then this is where the magic happens. When I first heard about this food, I thought he was gonna have to pick them out one by one with a freaking toothpick, but no. He puts it all in the water, he stirs it around, and then the meat just kind of floats out and then sinks right down to the bottom. So right now, there's a bunch of meat on the bottom of this giant bowl. Meanwhile, the shells are staying inside the basket. This is called water displacement. There's nothing high tech about this. No, this is just good old fashioned smarts. The moment has come, he's done taking out all the meat from the clams. He's gonna show us the final result from all the meat on the bottom. <laughs> wow, <laughs> look at that. I mean, that is entire river in this basket. Go! This is literally thousands and thousands of clams all right here. This is wild. Are you ready to try it out? I am. All right, here we go. Oh, mm, briny, mm -hmm. salty, super tender. And it still has some of that fresh water minerality to it. I taste amoebas. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I've always wanted to lose some weight on this trip. This is the way to do it. From here, the cooked clams head straight to a nearby restaurant, where they'll be turned into an impressive 44-cent meal. The clams are mixed with chili oil, seasoning powder, and black pepper. Now, the build, a bed of shredded greens. Then blanched instant noodles, bean sprouts, coriander leaves, a spoon of fermented shrimp paste, crushed peanuts, their homemade chili garlic dipping sauce, more chili oil, whole peanuts, fried pork skin, and then the clams. And on the side, a warm, clammy broth. 
This is our fourth and final noodle here in Huey, and this is a beauty. This dish is gonna be the cheapest dish we have in this series. 44, 45 cents. That is wild. What do you think our approach should be? I say we need to mix it up, really get all the textures and the sauces together, and then, sorry, I'm eating the pork skin already. And then you wanna take, keep going, we'll stop you. And then you wanna take a big mound of the noodles and the clams and the pork skin and the herbs. You don't wanna just even, you want to slurp everything down. Get one big mound in your mouth. I'm down to slurp. Enjoy it. Mmm. That's super yummy. She added some fermented shrimp sauce in there. Alone, it would be very overpowering. But in this noodle mixture with the herbs and the clams, it really brings that dryness to this dish. It hits a lot different than like a bun bao hui. There's nothing that compares to it. When you get that first taste of broth, it like heals your soul. It erases the memory of all your exes. It's like therapy in a spoon. This is more like a fun snack than something that's gonna give you a transcendental experience. That's not to say it's not to be appreciated. Can you taste the clam? No, you can't. There's it's so many textures in there and it's tough because you could be crunching your way through a tough chicharron, and then you're not gonna notice that chewy little clam underneath it. Mm. It is not a powerful force. It's something you gotta really like feel for. If you can't taste the clam outright in the noodle, you can always have some broth. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I taste that. That is just pure shells. Yeah, that is a <laughs> shell broth. Wow, that's really unique, yeah. huh? Is this water and the brininess from the clams itself. It kind of cleanses your palate for a little bite. It is such a mix of very affordable ingredients, and that is what Vietnamese street food is all about, innovation and creativity. I love it. We've done it four noodles, from jellyfish to blood to oh. noodles made by hand, all the way to clamming in the river. This has been an epic noodle tour here in Huey. The only thing left to do now is a conclusion. Thank God. Best Ever Food Review Show is a small team of independent creators, and everything we do here works because of you guys. Click the link in our description to join our Patreon and receive exclusive benefits. A peace. Can you tell I sweat through my shirt? Sonny, I can see all 50 states right now on your chest, including Alaska and Hawaii. <laughs> you don't pop on your head like the Koreans do? Uh, try it, is that a thing? Oh wait, that didn't work. That, no. Oh wait, that didn't work either. Yeah. Well, that, okay, that's not work. You're gonna break your head. I asked her, is there a poison that will make me fall in love with you in this? And she said, yes. You hung hiểu con bà không? Ah, thì she says, kind of. He's a one-man army. There's no one else here. He's solo. Solo bolo. Solo. Name of this dish? Bún. Bún. Bún yum. Nook is the name of the dish. Got it. I know. I know. That is the end of our second noodle video here in Huey. We have more to see in the central region. It's gonna be wild. It's gonna probably blow your pants off or your skirt. A huge thank you to Calvin for joining me today. You can follow Alvin and his fun food adventures at FKN Deliciousness on YouTube and also on Instagram. Go take a look, subscribe or follow and see what Calvin's up to. Guys, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. A, a peace. peace. All right. Dude, I need to walk for days to get rid of all those carbs. I have a clam up my butt right now. Do you need to see a proctologist. How about a clamologist? Ah, good idea. Okay. That's called a gynecologist.